Mr. Ambassador Evgeny Kornichuk, Ukraine Ambassador to Israel, hello and thank you for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. I'll go straight ahead and I'll ask, do you believe a Russian incursion is something which will be imminent? Listen, we are diplomats here and uh, <laughs> trying to do our best in order to avoid it. So, which means that if the invasion would not be avoided, we are doing a bad job as a diplomats. Which means that... So I still very much hope we can avoid it. Which means that in the event of an invasion, do you feel confident that the West will assist Ukraine? We do feel confident that uh, we have to rely on ourselves first, and we have to be strong nowadays. Where over the last years, we made a lot in order to uh, assist our armed forces to be much stronger than we used to be eight, almost eight years ago mm -hmm. when the Russian invasion has started. So I want you to understand that we are in status of war with Russia for over the last seven years. So it's nothing new. Unfortunately, the escalations going on at the moment, and we have been warned by our, our Western partners that that might be the case, mm -hmm. and we are trying to stay ready for it. It sounds a bit like an Israeli official uh, by uh, uh, mentioned that you can uh, count only about uh, yourself. But I wonder if you discussed this uh, crisis with Israeli officials recently. In fact, first of all, uh, our politicians. Uh, and the diplomats talk a lot about Israeli way, mm -hmm. assuming that we have to rely on ourselves, as Israel does on the early 50s when he was fighting the rest of the world, including the, <laughs> the United States, for your independence. Mm -hmm. Assuming that we are having a big uh, Jewish population in Ukraine nowadays, and we have a you know big history to share with with the Jewish people. We do believe that Israel is one of our close friends and allies. In terms of the discussion with the Israeli government, mm -hmm. we are in process of those discussions for over the last year. And uh, we appreciate the effort that has been done by the previous administration and the current prime minister uh, in order to be an intermediary between Russia and Ukraine. Unfortunately, they didn't succeed, mm -hmm. but because, not because of our interest. Uh, our, your prime minister says uh, initially, as far as I remember, in April, that uh, you can be a good intermediary if both sides want to agree. Mm -hmm. And over the table, he can see just one party that want to agree, which is Ukraine. But so. Uh uh, on the same, on the same yes. time, uh, neither Israeli Prime Minister Bennett nor Israeli Foreign Minister Lapid, none of them have commented about this crisis. So uh, I wonder if you expect Israel to speak out of, uh, on this issue, to speak loud and clear. We do uh, appreciate the Israeli help and assistance mm -hmm. in uh, different ways, uh, assuming they are supporting all Ukrainian initiatives over the uh, independence and the uh, sovereign mandate over the Crimea, for example, mm -hmm. at the United Nations. They are voting together with Ukraine in all our initiatives. But uh, we do understand the situation that uh, where the Israel appear next to Russia, when the, your, pol your politicians and officials saying that Russia becoming your new northern neighbor in Syria, so this is why it's difficult to ask more, but uh, we do believe and we do feel the support of the Israeli leadership those difficult days for Ukraine. Did it something that you heard from Israeli officials that due to the Golan and the situation up north, they cannot speak about the, the crisis with uh, Russia and Ukraine? Well, we, we do speak a lot and we expect in our political uh, and the uh, uh, Security consultations happen within a week from now uh, on a pretty high level between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the uh, uh, National Security Councils. But uh, so far, we uh, do enjoy our cooperation and we do understand that it is some limits uh, which uh, Israeli government facing only nowadays. Mr. Ambassador, CNN reported tonight that President Biden's call with President Zelensky did not go well. Is this making you nervous? Is it fair to say that Ukraine has been bonded in this conflict? No, I'm not. I don't believe that it did not go well. Mm -hmm. uh, the parties didn't share the 
completely similar view over the situation. Some Ukraine and, uh, officials this is something... said, some Ukraine officials uh, told th this quote exactly to CNN. First of all, we don't know who is those officials mm -hmm. and whether this information was, you know, public or whether it was, you know, somebody invaded this information simply, but uh, invented, I mean. But uh, clearly speaking, we do understand uh, the concerns and we do share the concerns of the American side and we appreciate uh, their effort in order to assist us with the weapon. And uh, currently, we are getting the big technical support of the America and Great Britain. Mr. Ambassador, thank you for this conversation. And I'm sure there is a lot to come. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you very much.